The next dental school that we will cover in this series is Case Western Reserve University School of Dental Medicine. Let's start with the admissions background based on 2020 data. All of the data presented on this slide was pulled either from the IDEA ADSAS website or from a dental admissions website called Master Student. So Case Western is a private institution located in Cleveland, Ohio. In 2020, they received around 2,300 applications for 75 seats. They had an overall acceptance rate of 3.2%, in-state acceptance rate of 10.8%, and out-of-state acceptance rate of 2.7%. Looking at the student breakdown, 24% of the incoming class came from the state of Ohio. Here we have the average academics for acceptance. So the average student entering CWRU this past cycle had a DAT of 20.9, cumulative GPA of 3.6, and science GPA of 3.52. Moving on to the admissions requirements, I always like to include a quick disclaimer here that all of the information on this slide applies to the 2021 to 2022 admissions cycle, meaning it is subject to change in the future. So when requesting your letters of recommendation, you have two options. Your first option is submitting a committee letter, which Case Western has a strong preference for. Your second option is submitting two science faculty letters and additional letters from non-science faculty, work supervisors, or clinical mentors. At the bottom of this slide, I have included a table that outlines all of the required coursework that you need to take prior to entering Case Western. This means that all of these classes do not need to be taken by the time that you apply, but you should have all of them finished by your matriculation date. There are many incredible academic offerings at Case Western, starting with its classroom experiences. As a dental student, you will take the majority of your classes in the Samson Pavilion. This is an interprofessional building for nursing, medical, dental, and physician assistant students. This enables an interprofessional education, and there are multiple courses built into your curriculum that are alongside these other healthcare students. Case Western also has a large focus on small group problem-based learning. Through this learning style, students will attend discussion sessions that apply the scientific knowledge they acquired from didactic lectures. Another amazing academic offering of Case Western is its clinical experiences. In the first two years, dental students will receive a lot of preclinical exposure through Case's simulation clinic. In the latter two years, D3 and D4 students are assigned to group practices through Case's group practice model. Each group practice contains around 17 total students, and they are mentored by two faculty preceptors. Each group practice also has a patient care coordinator that provides advice on office management of a private practice. The idea here is that dental students start to learn about the business aspects of dentistry while in dental school. This ultimately culminates with a business plan proposal where D4 students present a business plan for a dental practice. This plan is then critiqued by accountants and practicing dentists. A third significant academic offering of Case Western is its research opportunities. One major research project on campus is the Case Head and Neck Cancer Research Collaborative. This is a partnership between the School of Dentistry and School of Medicine to examine biomarkers for early stage cancers. Another major research group is the Oral Health Disparities Group. This community dentistry research group aims to improve the oral health disparities across social classes. There are also a variety of international research programs available to students. First, there is the Uganda Collaboration, which works alongside Make Rear University to address the oral health needs of people diagnosed with HIV. Second, there is the Taiwan Collaboration, which does research focused on biomarkers for OSCC, and OSCC is a type of head and neck cancer. If you are someone that is passionate about community service, Case Western has a lot of programs for you. First, there is the Head Start Outreach Program, which provides dental screenings for children in local elementary schools in the Cleveland area. 
Second, there is the Healthy Smile Sealant Program, which is a temporary clinic at local elementary schools where dental students perform dental exams and apply sealants. Third, there's the Geriatric Dentistry Program, where a mobile van travels to nursing home facilities to provide dental care. This clinical geriatric rotation is a mandatory component of the D4 year. Finally, close by to Case Western's campus is the Cleveland Free Clinic, where dental students can conduct voluntary service alongside other healthcare students. Here we have some final application logistics and financial estimations. All of the information presented on this slide was pulled from the Case Western Dental website in the year 2021, meaning it's subject to change in the future. So Case Western does not have any supplemental essay questions, However, there is a supplemental application fee paid through the IDEA AdSAS portal. Case's interview format is two individual interviews, and the estimated annual cost of attendance is about $91,000, not including the cost of living and transportation. Case Western awards between five to seven merit scholarships every year to incoming students through the School of Dentistry. When you applied to Case Western, you are automatically considered for these merit scholarships.